Hey guys, today let's flip the script. Let's talk about rush defense. Yeah, 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 I know. It's not sexy. But somebody's got to do it, right? Hey guys, how's it going? Culprit here. And like I said, today let's switch sides. Let's take a look at the rush defense. Now, listen, before we get too involved into this, we have to look at a couple ugly truths. One, like I said in the intro, yeah, it's not sexy. It's it's not it's not what everybody envisions when they have these montage clips in their heads of playing defense. It just isn't. Um, but yet, if you want to win and you want to have a good win-loss, you've got to produce on the defensive side of rush. I feel it's personally a little more challenging, so that's why I, at times when I can pull off defense... I feel it's a lot more rewarding, even if it's not, you know, singularly more rewarding. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully it will by the end of the video. Two, the second ugly truth of, of defense is that a lot of times your teammates just goof off. They, they just don't care. You see a lot of people take take a blow on defense. They, they, they go all out on attack because they want the personal glory. They want the cool video, the, you know, whatever. But on defense, they're just like, ah, screw it. I'm going to go sit on the roof with a sniper rifle, that kind of thing. So what that means for players like me, like you, that really actually play, really care about winning and losing, it means you have to bust your ass that much more. So what, what do, how do I like to play uh, rush defense, obviously? And I'm going to continue the theme that I've done with all the previous videos on the attacking side. I'm going to kind of have an emphasis on playing by yourself, playing solo. Um, whether you're in a decent squad or not, uh, just a little background on the video. This I joined late. It's, uh, I think, the third set of MCOMs, second to last MCOMs. On Epicenter, no, this is Marquez, this is Monolith, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, I still don't know these that greatly. Um, you can see, I jump in, they had 70 tickets. By the end of the match, you can see I had a great effect on this match. Why? I played smart. I, I played, I relied on my situational awareness, and I played what I call the anchor role. Now, for me on defense, there's two main roles for me on defense. There's the anchor role, and I kind of steal that term from, you know, English soccer, um, where I'm, I'm holding down the defense. I'm, I'm, I'm the stud of the defense. A lot of things go on around me, but I'm holding down some of the most important real estate on the map, and I make them, they have to kill me if they want to be successful, and I make it as hard as possible. The other role is kind of more what you'll hear the people say, the slayer, the harasser, the, you know, just the, the, just the, the kick-ass player that can go out there on his own, no backup, push beyond the defensive area, and just, just raise hell and thin them out and bleed their tickets. That is not really a place that I do well. It doesn't really fit my skill set very well. I don't have the personal one-on-one -on -one gunfight skills that some other people do. Me, my play style relies on my thinking, my brains, my situational awareness, my tactics, that kind of thing. I basically, I have to outsmart you because I can't outshoot you. So the anchor role is more fitted towards me. You'll see a lot more of that on defense for me. Whereas guys, I'm just thinking of guys off the top of my head and zero zero eight, you know, like Skulls and Sp uh, Spades. God, I still struggle with your name. Zion, uh, Laser Lord, guys like that that are just ridiculous with their gun-on-gun -gun skills. They could go out there, they can take the other team, bleed them down, bleed their tickets, and that's what they should do. That's what I want them doing, um, personally. Me, I'm going to try to rely on my map knowledge, which is hard, hard in the beginning of you know expansions like this because you don't know those hotspots. This is one of them, I feel. On these MCOMs, I love this little the staircase, these couple alleys. I feel like I can just bleed them out. For every one death of mine, I could take five, ten with me. Um, but yeah, I'm holding these positions. I'm going to fortify them, do everything I can. I'm not running away. You're going to have to kill me to get through here. And basically, you're going to lose a lot of tickets. So if I have somebody pushing up and they're harassing them, bleeding them, they're thinning them out a little bit. By the time they get to me, they're not coordinated. Like I've, I've talked about this. It's basically the inverse of a lot I talked about on the attack side, guys. They're not coordinated. They're not coming at me in a five-man squad. You saw when I died before. They did, and they took me down. Here, you know, you see where I'm having success? They're coming in ones and twos, and I'm able to take them down because I have superior position. I know exactly where I am. I know where they're going to be coming from, and I have the drop on them. It's really that simple. So this is what I call the anchor roll. I kind of, I, I find power positions, I hold them, and I bleed the enemy down. It's really that simple. Um, it's about all you can do on defense, unfortunately. Um, I have a real hard time on defense a lot of times. Like I said, you find crappy teammates are even crappier. Uh, good teammates become crappier. They, they, the roof camp, they, 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 they take a break on defense. Because, like I said, it ain't sexy. Chicks don't dig the defender ribbon. <laughs> so, you know, you got to put your patience level up a lot higher. But that's just a little quick primer on the defensive side. I'm going to go into it in more detail in future videos. Let me know what you guys are going to want to see. I'm going to cover the anchor role. I'm going to cover the, the, the kind of the slayer role. I'm going to talk about situational awareness. If you have any other topics you want to see me cover and hear me chime in on, please share it in the comments. I'd love to make sure I'm on target with what you guys are wanting to know. Other than that, 
thank you for watching, guys. Always appreciate those likes, shares, favorites, whatever. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care.